Hey everybody, it is Elle, back for hopefully what is my last bump date. <laughs> So guys, today I'm hoping this is my last bump date, but we'll see. Uh, I'm definitely feeling pretty impatient. I am so close to my due date, so I'm just like, ah! <laughs> so definitely I've been feeling a little impatient this last month, but I think the thing that's made me most impatient is I was part of a little IVF group, like on Facebook, and there were about 12 of us that all went through IVF at the same time and we all kind of cycled around the same time together. And then I also had two other family members that were due to have their babies around the same time as me. So there were all these people and everyone's been having their babies. And I thought it was funny because I was telling my husband two days ago, I was like, oh, well at least like, you know, my friend like Dolly or whatever. Yeah, it's actually her like Facebook name. I was saying, oh, at least my friend Dolly who's 40 weeks pregnant, so I'm like a week behind her, but still, I'm like, at least Dolly hasn't had her baby yet, because I feel like everyone's had their babies, and because she posted a bump picture, and then the next day, she posts a picture of herself in like the hospital bed holding her baby, and I'm like, ah, I'm the last one left, guys, I am the last one, and it's just so frustrating, because like, you know, we really want to meet our baby, we're feeling impatient, um, it's not even necessarily that I feel uncomfortable, I just like I'm getting so ready. And I've had all these little projects, I haven't been working these past couple weeks, and I had all these little projects I had to do and finish up before the baby got here, and I finished all my projects, I have nothing left to do, and so I literally feel like I'm just waiting around to have this baby go into labor. And it's just funny, like I've, I'm doing everything I can to be like helpful, like I'm making dinner and I'm doing laundry and whatever things that I can do being this big and it's just so frustrating because I feel like I'm literally just waiting around. Before it wasn't bad when I had projects like I was doing some sewing projects and I was repairing some cloth diapers but now we just have it, like everything's done so <laughs> there's like nothing left for me to do and um, I know a lot of people feel that way at the end of their pregnancy so it's not unusual but it's definitely just like, I, it's just so frustrating. <laughs> I'm just so ready to meet our baby. And all of this pregnancy, I've been totally cool with the idea of not finding out the gender. And so was my husband. In fact, it was his idea. And um, we've been totally cool with that. And it's been wonderful thinking about having a surprise. And now it's like, oh my gosh, we just want to know. <laughs> so it's so funny. Like, I'm so... I, I was so enamored with um, buying like certain things and like making sure everything we got was gender neutral and gender neutral clothes and blankets and whatever and making sure the nursery was pretty gender neutral and now it's just like driving me crazy. It's so funny like I don't even like going through the baby section anymore because I just want to know and I'm like I just want to be able to buy little boy or little girl things and so um, I think that's definitely adding to that impatience of like I just want to see them and I want to know what they look like and you know what their gender is and so I'm definitely excited for that and I feel like a lot of people jinx themselves and I'm hoping that that works too because I feel like a lot of people like make this update video and then like the next video they have it's like them holding their baby so I'm kind of hoping that that happens to me and I really don't have to make another bump date at like 41 weeks um but we'll see <laughs> so craziness. Um, I think the other thing that's really frustrating is I've had a lot of practice labor. I'm not sure at what point it becomes prodromal labor because I've heard a lot of people talk about prodromal labor where it just like lasts forever, um, like last weeks or something like that. So, so um, I'm filming, I don't know when I'll be able to post this, but I'll try to edit it and get it up when I can. So today is Wednesday and wow it's Wednesday already literally Friday so since Friday night so it was technically not Friday it was like Saturday really early in the morning we were up at like 1 a.m. like getting ready for bed because you know we stay up late Friday and Saturday nights not like partying but you know we just stay up late and um I was working on my last few projects whatever 
So we were like getting ready for bed and I started having some contractions and every time I've had contractions now I like get excited but not too excited because I've had so many false alarms. Um, but this time around they were like you know getting closer together and it was really interesting and then they did eventually go away. Um, so and then all day Saturday, all day Sunday, and all day Monday I had like random contractions and it wasn't like every day they were lasting for a couple hours a piece and they were consistent and so every time I'm like is this me going into labor is this me having practice labor like what is this and then they'd go away so there's nothing I could do um, and then yeah Monday I took it really easy because I was exhausted from my weekend of like having contractions for a couple hours at a time Anyways, yesterday I uh, went with my wonderful mother-in-law and we got pedicures together in the morning. And then after that I went to my midwife appointment in the afternoon. And I didn't have many contractions yesterday. Uh, I had them in the morning. They woke me up early in the morning. And so I was pretty tired yesterday. I'm still tired today. So they woke me up in the morning and I was just, I tried to go back to bed but I was like, I'm just going to get up. <laughs> and so, because um, I couldn't sleep through them. And then they kind of stopped for a little bit while we were getting our pedicures. And then after the pedicure, um, driving into Boston to Cambridge to go see my midwife, I started having them again. <laughs> it was so frustrating. So, and I had the midwife check me to see what was happening. And I'm just so frustrated because baby's not any lower. They, uh, my cervix is long and closed so like nothing is happening and I think that's what's really tough is I you know I've seen a lot of labors and um, I'm expecting to have a natural birth and so I know that labor is tough I don't expect it to be easy I don't expect it to be painless um, I know it's a lot of hard work and I'm willing to put that hard work into labor into having my baby but what's been hard is when I get these contractions, sometimes some of them are really uncomfortable and they take a lot of like energy to get through and it's frustrating for me because at least if I was in labor, I would know, okay, every contraction is moving me closer to my baby. But it's so frustrating because every contraction I have isn't necessarily doing anything. <laughs> so it's just so frustrating <laughs> to me. And um, Everyone around me has been so optimistic and so supportive and it's like, it's going to happen, don't worry, you're still pretty early. I mean, not early, but like, you know, most people go late with their pregnancies, first pregnancies, so it's not unusual and um, I know it will happen. I know eventually I'm going to have a baby in my arms, which is mind-blowing, <laughs> um, but it's just so frustrating that like, you know, everyone around me has their baby and I feel like we waited so long to get pregnant and now to have like be so close to have meeting our baby it's just so tough because we both really really want to meet them <laughs> and they're just taking their sweet time and I mean, it's not even them I feel like my body is taking their sweet time Like baby's not getting engaged um, which is just making me nervous and frustrated and I said in other videos I kept thinking baby was engaged and they weren't they were just low and sitting on my you know like my back and my tailbone um, so they were never engaged. So that makes me nervous um, going into it. So I know we'll see what happens. And I'm really hoping the next video I have for you guys is me sharing about my birth and the baby and all of that. And I hope that that is something that's coming soon. <laughs> I was saying I really hope for us the start of labor is obvious. Like my water breaking or like losing my you know, mucus plug or whatever you want to call it, um, bloody show, um, because if it just starts as contractions, I don't know if we'll actually know that it's labor, because, like, I've had so many contractions since Friday, and every time they last hours, and we, like, after a couple hours, we're like, oh my gosh, maybe this is it, and then it's not, <laughs> so, just so frustrating, um, but we're just, you know, I mean, we're still grateful, and we're still... Excited to meet the baby, and it's, you know, better late than ever. Um, but, yeah, we're just excited and getting ready. Um, so, things going on with me, too. Um, my midwife suggested for the pregnancy carpal tunnel to put Arnica on my wrists, and that has been helping a lot. Um, it decreases swelling. So, I found if I do that before going to bed at night, 
then it decreases the swelling and my hands don't get numb when I'm laying down. I've also noticed that if I'm starting to have numb and tingly hands, if I put arnica on my wrists, then that stops. So, But other than that, guys, that is the gist of what's going on right now. I really hope in the next video I have an adorable baby to show you and I can officially tell you guys if we had a boy or a girl and what their name is. So that's it for now, guys. I will give you a bump shot. Not sure I can get any bigger than this. This shirt is like sticking out. I don't know if it'll uh, <laughs> fit me great last week and now it's not fitting so great. So this is the bump, the almost 40 week bump. There it is. So what do you guys think? Boy or girl, last chance to guess. So that's it for now guys. And if you like, subscribe. Bye. Thank you.